Just days after the first the start of school, a shooting injures two Delaware State University students. They're both recovering at the hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Marcella Bayetto has more on the incident. It's been less than a week since classes have started here at Delaware State University, and some already have safety concerns after an early morning shooting. Students at Delaware State University are starting the new school year with a scare after a shooting injured two students on campus. Yes, it happened, but the positive side, we didn't lose a life. So, yes, we're still able to celebrate. Yes, we can. We're celebrating that we still have, that the people that got injured are still able to go on with their life and still be able to survive. <laughs> Officials say University and Dover police responded to a call at around 1:18 a.m. today for a robbery that led to a shooting on campus. It is a sad moment that it happened, but for me, it's only right that we got bounced back yeah. from it. Nearly 12 hours after the incident, long lines of cars filled the streets of Dover as the shooting comes on the same day as the school's football home opener. The football game probably like. It more so puts more of a positive outlook, like, yeah, something bad happened, but like, okay, now we have game spirit, school spirit. Let's go cheer on our football team. In a statement, DSU's president says in part, an event that affects the safety of one of us affects all of us. When moments like these emerge, they are understandably fraught with anxiety and indignation. I share your feelings, and at the same time, I can assure students and families that the university is committed to creating and maintaining a safe campus environment. We will pursue justice in this matter. Students like Alexis Williams say she still feels safe on campus because of the school's security measures. Honestly, I don't think something like this can be prevented because it's like there's only so much precautions you can really take. But the campus security does like overlook the campus. Like when you drive in at first at the main gate, like you have to show your ID and make sure you go here. University police could not confirm whether there are any suspects or if arrests have been made. Hornet fans are not only rallying behind the football team, but also the injured students. I hope they weren't seriously hurt. I don't know the condition because we're just hearing about this. But as a mother, I know, I, I, I feel for them. The Hornets take on Lincoln University on Saturday. University police, they are the ones that are leading the investigation into this shooting. But Dover police say they helped out when it comes to helping victims along with security on the scene this morning. Reporting in Dover, Marcel Bayado, CBS3 Eyewitness News.